And good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin. An update on Tropical Storm Brett and our other Invest 93. And I bring nothing but good news. Again, repeating what we've been saying for the last uh, couple of days now, watching these systems, they are still well away from land. In fact, these are uh, some 3,000 plus miles away from New Orleans. So even if they had been making a track directly toward us, we'd have about 10 plus days in order to watch these. Uh, more of interest as they are uh, kind of early early in the season for storms to be developing in the tropical Atlantic. And of course, there really isn't anything else going on. So we'll kind of focus on these tropical systems. Now, the one of more interest, obviously, is our name storm, Brett. However, the Hurricane Center has been giving an increased chance of developing uh, development of 93, uh, Invest 93. However, when you look at it on satellite, it looks pretty poor. There is definitely some broad circulation there. But at the moment, it is struggling. Brett, however, at least in the recent uh, time has started to look a little healthier. We started to see a bit more thunderstorm development around the center. We clearly see that outflow boundary where the storm is a not outflow boundary, but outflow where the storm is able to continue to intensify. However, there are indications that that will soon cease as the upper environment is going to start becoming more hostile for further intensification. Now, while the hostile environment may start to increase, it may not be quite enough to continue uh, uh, to, for Brett to strengthen in a bit and the wind forecast is for it to get close to a hurricane but never becoming a hurricane so notice in our icon here does not become a hurricane as it continues across the islands that's going at about friday then friday into saturday while there is still a forecasted point on saturday at one o'clock model guidance and this is all of the global models are indicating that at this point on saturday the storm will no longer cease to exist it is going to become an open wave and dissipate over the Caribbean because the environment in the Caribbean is far more hostile to anything trying to develop. Here's what the computer models are saying. Now, again, when you look at the spaghetti plot, it is basically only forecasting a point, that center point of where it may go. It says nothing about the structure of the storm, but the model guidance is pretty consistent now of taking it right into the Caribbean. It had been, again, not quite the case as some were still a little bit of an outlier meaning the GFS, but now they've all started to come back in line. So what we have started to see is that the models are really grabbing onto what the Euro had been saying all along. It would keep moving due west and it would weaken once it is in the Caribbean. So looking at the Euro as well as the forecast path for or the forecast from the National Hurricane Center, again, it could strengthen a bit more as it approaches the islands as a tropical storm, maybe Thursday into Friday, crossing into the Caribbean and again, a very hostile environment. Here we go Friday evening into Saturday, it is dissipating because now it is just more of an open wave and we could continue to see that open wave just become more of a rainmaker as it approaches Central America. So the Euro had been the first one to really grab onto that and it looks like so far the Euro may be the more accurate of the models. Again, we'll see as we continue on, but right now it looks like there has been decent model agreement and with, with, with what the Euro have been saying all along. This forecast just shows kind of the pressure centers and again, there's that agreement between the GF in red and the euro in green, both indicating that passage into the Caribbean and both indicating an eventual weakening once in the Caribbean. Here comes 93 on its heels. If it's able to become a name storm, may continue, but then notice the GFS dissipates it as it starts making this turn. Maybe something else coming on the heels of that as well, but looks like the model's kind of indicating that turn away from land altogether. And so far with Invest 93, that has been a fairly decent consistency of the models. Of course, there is a little bit more of a spread. Invest is not yet really organized, so these kind of loose structured systems usually aren't Aren't forecasted perfect but note in the next several days it does look like it will while nearing the Caribbean eventually start making a turn keeping it away from the United States altogether so Brett looks like it's going to continue on a path toward the Caribbean and then eventually dissipate there 93 at the moment not looking very well organized at all looks like it'll follow a path that would keep it away from land altogether so great news out in the tropics even though things have started to heat up a little sooner than normal in the tropical Atlantic right now neither of those pose any kind of threat to us at all. Locally, we've got some big storms around the area. We're going to detail that much more on Eyewitness News at 5. So that's your tropical update. For now, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin.